Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is permutation in string. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given two string s1 and s2, write a function to return true if s2 contain the permutation of s1. In other words, one of the first strings permutation is the substring of the second string. And if you look at example number one, we are given with s1 which is equal to ab and we are given with s2. And if we see ab and if we look into s2, we can find pa which is a permutation of ab. And in that case, we are turning true. And if you look at example number two, s1 is equal to ab. And if we find permutation of ab in s2, we are unable to find any permutation of ab. So the output is false. So let's move on to the pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. So I have taken the example given in the question. And the question is asking us that we need to find whether S2 contains the permutation of S1 or not. If it contains, then we need to return true, else we need to return false. And this question is very similar to the question we have done before on this channel. You can find the link in the description below. And permutation means we need to find a substring in S2 whose length is equal to S1, which contain same character as S1, but they can be in any order. And for this, we will use sliding window technique. And for that, we need to have a length of our window. And the length of our window will be equal to the length of S1. For that, we will gonna use counter, or you can say a dictionary, to store the character and their frequency. So if I talk about, I will make two counters, which is S1 counter and one will be our window counter. In S1 counter, I will store A with frequency 1 and I will store B with frequency 1. But for window counter or you can say counter of S2, I will gonna only store E and I. I will show E with frequency 1, I with frequency 1. Now I will compare S1 counter and window counter. If the characters are same and the frequency are same, it will gonna return true. But this is not true in that case. So in this case, I will gonna move forward to my right. So I will slide my window to the right and now my window will become ID. So I will gonna delete E from here and I will insert D with frequency 1. Again I will check whether both are equal or not. No. Then again I will gonna slide my window to the right. So now my window will become TB. Now again I will gonna delete I from here and I will insert B. Again I will check whether S1 counter and window counter are same or not. No they are not. Then again I will gonna slide my window to the right. Now my window will become BA and now I will delete D from here and I will insert A and now I can see my S1 counter and the window counters are same. They contain the same element with the same frequency. In this case, I will simply gonna return true and suppose if instead of B, we would have A here. In that case, I would have deleted B from here and the frequency of A would have been 2 and then again I would have matched and the answer should be false. Again I will slide my window to right. Now it became A O. I will decrease the frequency of A and I will insert O with frequency 1. And I will keep doing that. So this is the way we can solve this question. So let's move on to the coding part. Let's see what is the code for this problem. So let's see the code. If you look at line number three, I took a condition. If length of S1 is greater than length of S2, we will return false. Then I have taken length of S1. I have taken two counter, which is counter for S1 and the second is the counter for window. Then I'm taking a for loop in S2 with enumerates. And I'm storing a character in window counter with frequency one. If i is greater than length of s1, where i is the index 
and length of S1 equal to our length window. So if i is greater than or equal to length of our window, that means we need to find out the left element which we need to delete because as we have seen in the example, every time when we are sliding our window to the right, we are deleting or reducing the frequency of the element which was on the left. And this is how we can find out the element from left. And if the frequency is equal to one, that means we will simply gonna delete that element. And if the frequency is greater than one, that means we will reduce the frequency by one. And at the end, we are checking if window counter is equal to S1 counter. In that case, we will return true. Else, we will return false. So let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it goes accepted. So this was the code for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.